The start of a new World of Warcraft expansion is always the most fun time to be playing WoW, and Dragonflight is just around the corner, dropping November 28th. I've compiled a list of things you need to do to get ready for launch day. I'm Erratic Gaming and I create content here on YouTube and over on TikTok. If you like this video, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel and come check me out on Twitch. I love this game and I love getting to chat with people who do too. Let's get into it. Number 10. A new expansion is a fresh start, a clean slate, and we want to treat it as such. Your quest logs are bogged down with quests, and let's be honest, you're probably never going to come back and finish them. Clean up your quest logs and get rid of everything. You're going into new lands filled with new quests, and those quest logs will be full again in no time. Number 9. Now this is very similar to number 10. Clean out your bags. You need to clean out your bags. Your bags are filled with legendaries, reagents, unused currencies, and random drops you've seen throughout the Shadowlands. Start by going to your bank and dumping anything you'll want to keep for later there. This is great for reagents or maybe other items you found throughout the Shadowlands that you might want to come back later and use. Consider whether or not you'd like to keep your legendaries. If not, you might want to take them to the jailer to destroy them and get back the currencies you spent on them. If you want to keep them, you can throw them in your bank or you could use void storage, which is a functionality that I completely forgot about until recently. Void storage is a great place for you to keep items that you don't want to get rid of, but that you don't want taking up bag or bank space. You want to get your bags as bare as possible so you can explore the Dragon Isles unhindered. Number eight. Level your alts. If you're watching this before November 15th, there's an awesome 50% experience buff through the Winds of Wisdom. On top of that, there's also an 18% experience buff from the 18th anniversary of World of Warcraft. Phase two of the Dragonflight pre-patch starts on November 15th. They will be removing the Winds of Wisdom, but they will also be revamping the amount of experience it takes for to get from one to 60, so it will still be a great time to level your alts. Dragonflight is shaping up to be extremely alt friendly, so you'll wanna have those alts ready in case you see another class you wanna try out. There will also be some events that will grant catch up gear, which will help you get your alts ready to level in the Dragon Isles. Dragonflight is introducing a new ranged class for the first time since the inception of World of Warcraft. You need to level a Drakthir once phase two of the pre-patch starts. Drakthir is the most customizable race yet, and their playstyle is fantastic and new. Drakthir will also be important to the story of Dragonflight, so seeing the starter zone of the Drakthir will not only be fun and new, but also insightful. Number six. Speaking on the story of Dragonflight, now is a great time for you to brush up on your lore. We're going back to dragons and elementals and I'm almost positive old gods, which is the baseline of World of Warcraft lore. There are thousands of videos and articles out there for you to watch and read. If you're wanting a couple characters I would suggest researching up on, I would suggest Tyr, Rathion, yogg saron Galakrond, and the Dragon Aspects. I'd love to hear who you all are planning on looking into as well. Number 5. Phase 2 of the pre-patch starts November 15th, which also commences the start of the World of Warcraft Twitch drops. Watch 4 hours of Dragonflight content between November 15th and November 18th, and you'll get a Dragon Kite. You don't want to miss getting the Feldrake, which can be acquired by watching 4 hours of Dragonflight content between November 28th and December 1st. I would love for you all to join my stream to acquire these drops, but there are thousands of talented streamers out there. I'll leave a couple less household name streamers that I think are worth checking out down in the comments. Now, if you've been playing through the pre-patch, this probably won't be too much of an issue, but if you're planning on coming back to Dragonflight for the first time on launch day, you're going to want to make sure you take some time and update your add-ons before you log in. Large parts of the UI were updated in 10.0, so getting in and configuring everything just the way you like is important. Using an app like CurseForge will make updating your add-ons a breeze. Number three. Professions are getting an enormous update in Dragonflight. Picking the ones you plan on focusing on in Dragonflight will be extremely beneficial, especially if you plan on having a gathering profession. Generally, reagents are a fantastic way to make money at the beginning of an expansion. So picking up gathering, even if you plan on changing later, could be quite lucrative. Research all the professions and see what sounds best to you. It's also important to note that a new reagent bag slot was added in Dragonflight and that Dragonflight reagents will now stack to 1,000. Number two. 
You need to plan out your launch day. Have you requested off work? Have you told your loved ones goodbye? Do you plan on grinding through the night the day of launch? Or maybe you plan on playing for a couple hours, getting some rest, and then playing all day the next day. Expansion launch days have been notoriously rocky, but it seems like they have constantly improved. And if my memory is serving me correctly, Shadowlands was actually super smooth. I'd still suggest having a backup plan in case launch day doesn't go according to plan. Make sure you'll have all the food and drinks you'll need while exploring the Dragon Isles. You may have a more pleasant time leveling if you're not just smashing carbs the entire time. But let's be honest, Hot Pockets are goaded. Ma'am? Yes, hon? More Hot Pockets! Right away, hon. So do as you will. Number one. I saved this one for last because I think it might be a difficult decision for some people, but you'll need to pick a class to main for Dragonflight. Repatch came with a whole new talent system and a slew of changes to both classes and specs. Make sure you've played every class that you're considering to main and that you still like the playstyle. I'll be maining a warrior as usual, but I'm still tossing around the idea of what I want to be my main healer. Let me know what you guys plan on maining in Dragonflight. And that's it. If you've run through all these items, you'll be ready to play Dragonflight on launch day. If you've made it this far into the the video, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be creating tons of new content during Dragonflight. I'm also over on Twitch, so come by and check me out while I'm streaming as well. I love this game and I love chatting with people who do as well. Happy adventuring and I'll see you in the Dragon Isles.